At Children's Hospital Oakland, twin girls are to be the first humans in history to be treated with an experimental compound. Doctors say it's the only chance to survive a sort of childhood Alzheimer's. KTV's Health and Science Editor John Fowler live in Oakland now with this story you'll see only on Channel 2. John. This drug is an, an experiment and it's a dramatic one at that. The uh, drug in question is the active ingredient in fabric softeners, but for two little girls, it could mean the li difference between life or death. This is really groundbreaking and exciting um, news right now. Let's walk, Addy. Let's go. Let's go. We first met twins Addie and Cassie Hempel last year. They each have a rare and fatal genetic disease called Nemon Pick. They start losing memory and language and speech and ability to take care of themselves. And that's why physically it looks like Alzheimer's disease in adults. The twins, now six, suffer from cholesterol buildup in their brains and have lost much of their ability to speak. They end up in wheelchairs, they can't swallow, and then it's fatal and there's no treatment. Children's Hospital Oakland tried intravenous cyclodextrin, a sugary compound found in fabric softeners. That did help. But the compound does not cross the blood-brain barrier. So the girls continued their neurological decline. But today, doctors have just won approval for a dramatic new tactic. Inject cyclodextrin directly into the girls' brains. The twins would be the first in medical history to have this treatment, and it may be their only chance to survive. This is a bold and brave step to take to go from intravenous to directly infusing a drug into the spinal fluid. The family is very compassionate. They obviously care about their children and don't want to have any harm. But at the same time, they realize their children are gonna die without any intervention. Dr. Hastings expects the treatment will stop, possibly reverse some of the damage. The family is from Reno and they're expected here in about 10 days to begin this revolutionary therapy. Reporting live in Oakland, Health and Science Editor John Fowler, KTVU, Channel 2 News.